As you guys can see, we are running the latest version of RPCS3 emulator on our Android devices. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Atrix here and finally now you can run the original latest version of RPCS3 emulator on your Android devices. And no, the official RPCS3 emulator hasn't launched for mobile devices yet but we'll be using a different method which lets you play the latest RPCS3 emulator and also emulate PS3 games. Now in today's video, we'll be basically setting up the RPCS3 emulator on the Dark OS Windows emulator and Dark OS is so optimized that even latest version of RPCS3 works without requiring any additional work. It is very simple to set up and I'll be showing you guys the best settings. In our next video, we'll be testing out games like God of War 3, God of War Ascension and any other game that you can comment down below. So before starting, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's get started. Alright guys, to start off, we'll need to set up Dark OS Simulator on our Android devices. But I have already made a dedicated video on how to set up Dark OS Windows Emulator on Android. You can check it out on the iCard above as we'll be using this emulator to run the latest version of RPCS3 on Android. Now the latest version of RPCS3 does not work on any other emulator like Mobox or Winlator by default. You'll need to apply some tweaks to get them running but Dark OS does not require anything like that. The next step is to simply open Dark OS emulator on your Android device. So for that we'll just go ahead and exit the safe mode from Dark OS by typing 3 and then tapping on the enter button and then it will automatically start the Dark OS emulator on your Android devices. Now at the top left corner you will be immediately able to see that I have the latest RPCS3 version already available. Label. Now to set up RPCS3 emulator on Android, you will need to do the following things. Get the latest build of RPCS3 emulator and put it in any directory of your Android device. As you guys know, RPCS3 is a completely open source PS3 emulator for PC. But basically, you will have to load the RPCS3 emulator on your Android devices first and then only we can open it in the Dark OS Windows emulators. Just go ahead and open the PC folder and afterwards head on over to your D directory. And from here, we'll just need to scroll down to the folder where we stored the RPCS3 emulator. So I have created two folders for RPCS3, but basically to set up RPCS3 on your Android devices in Dark OS, just go ahead and open the PC version of the emulator itself. And immediately you'll be able to see that our RPCS3 setup page has opened, which means we are all good to go. Now, right here, what you'll need to do is just go ahead and make sure to create and start menu as well as the desktop shortcut. You can tap on the, I have read the quick start guide and do not show again option and make sure to uh, use dark theme if you wish to do so. Once that has been done, just go ahead and tap on the continue button. By the way, this is the latest version of RPCS3 which I am showcasing to you guys as of filming this video. RPCS3 0.0.31 is what everyone uses and this version of the emulator supports games like God of War and obviously lot more games. Whereas in our previous RPCS3 testing videos, we were using like a very old build of RPCS3 0.0.0.6 so yeah, that was unplayable. So the next step which you'll need to do is make sure to import your PS3 firmware. Now setting up PS3 firmware is pretty easy. You'll just need to uh, dump your PS3 update package and then open it on the RPCS3 emulator. So let me just go ahead and do that by tapping on the file option. But you'll notice that some areas are blacked out and it is red. That's because Dark OS uses dark theme. So if you use RPCS3 emulator in dark theme, the visual appeal will be present. So guys, just go ahead and tap on this button. Make sure to select the firmware option which you guys see right here. You'll need to dump your firmware first so all of the systems are good to go. Now I'll be opening another variant of RPCS3 emulator which I have already set up. Alright guys, now that I have changed the theme, you will be able to notice that I have Sonic Unleashed as well as the PS3 interface uh, firmware which we have already dumped into our emulator. Now if we just go ahead and head on over to the configuration section, we will be able to uh, set up the best settings for RPCS3 emulator latest version on our Android devices. Now PPU decoder should be recompiler and same goes with SPU decoder. Uh, I don't recommend you guys to mess around with the CPU settings so let's head on over to the GPU option. Now we get two renderers, obviously OpenGL is present but we won't be using OpenGL. We can uh, try out Vulkan if Vulkan works the best for you as Vulkan is best for giving a great amount of performance so we'll go with Vulkan. Uh, as soon as we select the Vulkan option, graphics device will automatically change to our graphics driver which is Turnip Adreno 730. Whereas if we set OpenGL then you will be able to notice that graphics device is not required for OpenGL rendering that's why it's not worth it. Once we choose our graphic device we can set the aspect ratio. Now I recommend it to keep it at 16 is to 9. Make sure to set the frame limit to off. 
so you guys can get more than 30 fps in terms of anti-aliasing make sure to disable it shader quality should be low and set the accuracy level to approximate once that has been done you can also set the resolution uh, by default it is 1080 by 720p but if you want better performance then you can also decrease the resolution scaling uh, by selecting the default resolution and scrolling down to whichever you prefer i like to keep it at default so everything else you can keep it to default but if you get graphical issues then you'll need to tick mark uh, two of these options and make sure to also enable stretch to display area once that has been done we'll just go ahead and tap on the apply button so our settings are saved afterwards we'll just head on over to the audio section where the audio output should be cube and audio device should be default you don't really need to mess about in here let's go to the system section and you can set the time according to your requirements in terms of advanced settings keep everything as default and afterwards in GUI settings you can change the theme for RPCS3 I have currently selected the native windows theme but you can go with black theme or anything that you prefer once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and tap on the save option and now we are good to go. Our RPCS3 emulator has been now set up on our Android devices. So the next step obviously will be to import your PS3 game files. You can do that by tapping here and afterwards if you are trying out a demo game then you can obviously add package like I have done right here. Sonic Unleashed has been added on my Android device and uh, one thing which I'd like to tell you guys about is the PPU compilation will take a lot of time. So a good tip is that you can open the game that you want to play on your PC version of RPCS3 emulator and then uh, take the cache folder from it and paste it into the directory of RPCS3 emulator on your Android device that will speed up things quite a lot. Now if you want to try out any game then you can just go ahead and right click and select the boot option. I would also like to show you guys the touch controls that we get with it. So guys once you open any game or anything like that it will start compiling the PPU models as well as load the PPU models. Now this process is very lengthy if you are using a smartphone then it will take a good amount of time. By the way at the top left corner we are getting around 19 to 30 fps while it's compiling some PPU models. Uh, now let me just go ahead and show you guys this input bridge profile. Uh, it is basically an PS3 control layout. Now in my next videos I'll be showing you guys the gameplay of a game running on this RPCS3 emulator. Afterwards we'll be testing out big titles like God of War etc. I'll also be showcasing how to set up the on-screen touch controls and input controls in RPCS3 emulator. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. This was just the part 1 of this series. So I hope you guys stay tuned for it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.